Hello, I'm KTU 11 meteorologist Chris Ramirez. NOAA's Climate Prediction Center is having us under a La Nina watch, which means that conditions are favorable for us to be in the La Nina period in the coming months. They're giving us a 70% chance that we could be looking at La Nina by the start of fall, lasting through much of the winter likely ending between March of 2025 and they're calling this a rather weak and short lived period and it all has to do with the ocean temperatures more so what's happening in the Pacific Ocean along the equator. So of course we're seeing warm conditions in the Gulf of Mexico and Atlantic Ocean and that's fueling hurricane season, but we're actually seeing cooler waters out along the equator in the Pacific Ocean in the region called the Nino 3.4 region. So that's expected at least through March of 2025. And so when we look at La Nina pattern, what does this mean for Houston and Southeast Texas? That actually means that we're going to see drier and warmer conditions across the South Central US for folks up north. They get colder and wetter conditions, but this ultimately means that we're going to be seeing temperatures just a little bit more warmer than those seasonal normals. And as we look at that seasonal temp outlook from the Climate Prediction Center, they're calling for above average temperatures through uh, the rest of September, lasting through November. This is actually for the next 90 days. And oddly enough, we're seeing that for the next 10 days. High temps are going to expect to be in the mid 90s getting up to 95 for Saturday, 96 for Monday. So not really feeling much like fall in the coming days. And we could be looking at a warmer winter as we head into the next few months. And as always, you can get the latest weather forecasts on KHOU.com and on the KHOU 11 app.